right, so welcome to part two. And what you're going to need, so you want to you want to grab colors of the same family. So I'm going to do a winter blue, like a blue theme. Or I'm sorry, a blue color with purple. So I'm going to add, you know, blue and purple are, uh, you know, from the same family. Look on the color wheel. So I'm going to have, this is like a blue green. Um, this is just a regular blue. I wish I, I was looking for indigo. I cannot find my indigo, but that's okay. I have my violet. Oh wait, here's my indigo right here. <laughs> so, and if you can just dig up any colors you have, if you don't just have crayons, if you have, I mean, I have this, um, this is a sketch, uh, it's a, it's a sketch pencil, and this is black, if you don't have a black colored pencil, um, if you have a black marker, that'll work as well, if you can just really scrap up any blues or purples, I am not going to use any yellows or oranges or reds because I want this to be a, a, a winter scene. I don't want it to look like a sunset. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do first, once you have your winter scene drawn, I want to start uh, drawing, my, drawing in my objects or coloring in my objects. And they don't all have to be uh, black, um, but I, I do want most of my details. Now, I, I do prefer for us to use a Sharpie. Not everyone has a Sharpie, so I'm going to show you what I can do with a black crayon or a black colored pencil. It's the same thing. I just want to make sure that, before I go any further, be mindful of the texture of the edges of your objects, whether it's a house, an animal, a tree, so be mindful of it because when we create the silhouette, you are not going to see the details of, for example, um, this little reindeer over here. You're not going to see his eyes. You're not going to see, but you're going to see the shape and texture. So I'm going to just make sure I, I create some fur. Okay, so just be mindful of the shape and the edges and texture. Okay, now if we were to do markers, same thing. Um, oh, also, look, I did not notice that at first. Since I drew a bit lighter, the lines of the branches, I can erase those from inside of the owl. I'm going to draw these branches. You know, branches are kind of jag jagged, so I don't want them to be too smooth. I want to create that texture. Actually, I just thought about something that I could do. I take my pencil because since marker is a lot more bold and darker. Um, well, actually, the lights are going over here. I'll just continue with the marker. But uh, I was just thinking I could have outlined this area with colored pencil, and then this side with. Uh, the marker instead, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. Because I will show you um, how to incorporate the light source in just a moment. So I'm just, I'll be right back, I'm just going to finish this up. Alright, so I kind of went through and I'm just kind of starting to fill this in with black. But, actually, before I do this, 
because I have this all outlined, I want you to take your eraser and erase all those unwanted lines because sometimes when we go over and trace, we kind of adjust our drawing a little bit. I even added a couple more trees. So I am taking my marker and coloring in my tree like this. Now I do want you to decide, you don't have, you, I don't want you to have everything colored in um, black, I want you to decide maybe if you want something in gray. So I'm just doing it like this, and then I, I have a little technique that I want to do. And I, I want you to be brave with this. So for example, I'm trying, I'm using the Sharpie and creating a, a texture, and you might think, oh no, you're messing it up. But I don't think that there's ever a mistake. You have to kind of trust with what you're doing. Keep going and if you don't like it, you can always do something to just keep going and see where it takes you. So I'm going to take my crayon and I'm going to make one side Of my tree up a little bit darker than the other side. Kind of like the light is hitting my tree, and one side's a little bit lighter. Yes, my black crayon broke. just another little trick I like to do. So if you want to take a white crayon and then lighten up or blend one side because remember our moon is going to be over here so that's why I'm kind of trying to make um, make my, eye, my objects that are kind of facing if you kind of can just think about like if where where the light source is hitting your objects, you want to make them a bit lighter. That's why I said you don't have to make all of them black. So I made one side of my owl darker and this side because this side has less exposure to the light. So if you just take your white crayon, It's just a little technique. You don't have to do this, but I, I like to do this because I think this looks really neat. Alright, and you know, not all of your objects have to be black. I'm making this tree gray. Okay, so now we're going to take the colors. I'm going to take my blue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my indigo, my darkest blue. And I want to have it go from dark blue, little hint of purple, to light. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just color in my sky like this. Okay, so I have some of that. Uh, that blue, and I just noticed this was a blue, not not the indigo. I want this to be a bit darker, so it's kind of pressing down a little bit more. Um, indigo is a bit purpley, so I just want to add a little bit of that bottom. I want 
this to be a bit darker. Or what you could do, you can just take your dark blue and just really, really press it down. So that way it's nice and dark. And I'm going to go lighter as I'm going outward. So I want to take that lighter blue, that blue-green. And you don't have to. You can just, if you take, you know, this is like the regular blue right now. If you just want to go light with your hand, very, very light-handed, you can just do that. You know what? I'm going to just do that a little bit. And then I can take my lighter, my uh, blue-green and kind of blend and marry the colors together like that. You can also take that white and also use that as a blend to blend if you want. I'm going to go ahead and Alright, so this is what I have. And if you want to take that purple, I just like to add a little bit more color. And I really, like, I really took that blue green and I just dragged and dragged and dragged the color to almost where you can barely see the blue. Really just lit up. Now if you wanted to use crayon to kind of blend the colors, it's just something that I like to do. If you don't want to do this step, you don't have to. Um, another thing I want to, to show you is I want to take the white, color in the moon a little bit. And I want the moon to kind of not really show too much. I'm just going to erase these little edges right there. But um, if you wanted to kind of make it more gray, if you wanted to make it like white and gray, I'm going to add a little bit a little bit of yellow. I don't want it to look like it's daytime. I don't want to confuse my audience. Just to show that it's kind of nice and bright. So I'm trying I just put a little tiny tiny bit of yellow and then went over it with white just to kind of suggest that it's glowing. Um Alright, so this is how you do the winter scene. I hope you have fun. Please uh, add your own creativity. Whatever that we do in art, I love to see your creativity. So I do not expect for us to all have the same piece. So I drew something one way. I would love to see how what you came up with. Alright.